it is rolling now. Here we are with Shawnee, who's getting ready to shoot the show with Doria and Romaine. Serious, serious, serious radio. How cute. <laughs> That's right, it's Doria and Romaine, and we are live here at the Skyna Shore weekend. Woo! Club puts on one hell of a party. I'm just telling you right now, we are having crazy events in the Palm Street. There are fires, there are windstorms, there are falling ceilings trying to crash down the it's crazy. It's a little insane, but let me just tell you, it is not stopping the fun, not even one little bit. Dory and I are having the best time ever as we watch all these hot lesbians parade on by on their way to the pool. This is why we're sitting in Yeah. The Riviera Hotel is incredible, it is gorgeous, and it is filled to the brim, possibly overflowing, with lots of half-naked lesbians. And joining us now is perhaps... One of the hottest ladies I've seen all this. And if not, maybe you don't see hottest lesbian I've seen all this. Uh, Shawnee Harkins is here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. And you have very cool hair. I appreciate that. Thank right you. Right up on the You've got to get them out. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering if I have to go back to work being an ex-firefighter and smelling all this smoke around. I'm okay with that. Damn you, Doria. I call it. Bye. I am half married. I should just respond. Okay, so Dr. Phil, let's talk about Dr. Phil for a second. Now, my sister is in love with Dr. Phil. Really? She thinks Dr. Phil can do no wrong and is like the cure all and end all to everything. She's from Texas, right? From Texas. That's why I love Dr. Phil. She's from Wyoming. It's close enough. It is. It's close practically the same stuff. It is, yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you been working with old Dr. Phil? I've been working with him since last year in July. We have a TV show called Ultimate Weight Loss Solution. So, this is a weight loss uh, reality show. I am just saying it right here and now. Just stand in front of Every day, I would just, again, it's just like, it's like I'm walking towards you. <laughs> yes, I would do it. And you would always be on time. I, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make you on the I will be there. I'll take you on there. Okay, so I'm telling you. I mean, here's the thing about me, because I'm lazy and I'm fat. I am willing to work out if a person will yell at me a lot and not be afraid to yell at me. And not be afraid if I yell back, because I'm kind of a bitch. But I can handle, like, I think I need a trainer who can be like, bitch, get your ass in the fucking gym. I'm not taking no for an answer. Move it, fucker. Like, that's what I need. I don't know if I'll yell at you like that. But you though. have to. That's what I need. I need mean. Like, crack a whip. Mean. Hardcore. And I can't respond to that. Okay, so I've never had a person. I'm not too proud. I need mean. I need someone who's going to be like, listen. You know, I do. I'm not like, I'm not really sorry to try to train her. I'm not like, hey, get your ass to the gym. But I'm sure. Seeing you. Seeing you is better than enough, I think. I tell you, this is my training style. Being an ex-firefighter, and, you know, you may know a little bit, I used to be paralyzed. She's been that down as well. So, that's crazy. Those two combined, I expect a lot from my clients. I expect no excuses, but I don't yell at them. I just command them. Because of your life, I guess I have to lose. Yeah, but the, here, okay, so I did this thing over the summer where I played kickball last summer, and I made it to first base, and I thought I was going to do I'm like, oh. And, you know, I think I always had a heart attack, and then I had, then there was a time when I had to run all the bases, and seriously, I collapsed at home. And all the, the other team just laughed at me, and they're like, oh, um, that girl, you know, I'm like, and now, on Sunday, I have to play the dodgeball game, and I'm like, this is unfair. I'm fat and I'm slow. 
wearing a mute mic. That's not good for them. Okay, well, I got a good side arm. I mean, my girl's okay. He's good. Yeah, my arm is on the very... I think you were actually the first person. I like having you on my team. I probably will. Probably will. Yeah. And I followed up right away. Tell me in. And have you played the dodge ball before? I haven't played the dodge ball in many years. Right. But since like second or third grade, yes. And even my girlfriend, uh, a little nervous, but it's just scary.